We're live till 10 o'clock tonight. We've got our Yuletide choir, we've got festive decorations and trembling celebrity guests. They are Amir Khan with Jason Manford, Martin Kemp with Matt Cardle, Fatima Whitbread with Russell Watson and Kate Garraway with Heston Blumenthal. It can only be the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Christmas Special. Tonight, welcome to this very sparkly live Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Christmas special. Yeah, yeah we've got them highly trained. Once again, I get to play Santa with a whole sack full of money to give away tonight. Waiting backstage to play, we have Amir with Jason, Martin with Matt, Fatima and Russell, and Kate with Heston. And Christmas could come early for one of you at home tonight by correctly answering just one question live on the show a bit later on. You could win an amazing... It is seriously amazing bumper gift package to be delivered, we promise, in time for Christmas Day, plus, 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 half of the cash won by all our celebrities tonight. Now, the phone lines are already open. I'll give you that number again uh, right through the show. I'll give it to you again in a couple of minutes. Let's meet what we hope will prove to be two wise men. Will you please welcome Jason Manford and Amir Khan? <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you, man? Lovely to see you. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. I mean, I've never seen you look so quiet. <laughs> a little nervous here. It'll be good. <laughs> no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Jason, you OK? I'm, I'm a bit nervous. I'm not even good at the one in the pub. Do you know what I mean? That one. So, this is proper. This. this is proper with proper money tonight. As well as playing for somebody at home, Jason and Amir are hoping to raise a lot of money for their chosen charities. Now, that's the Children's Adventure Farm Trust and the Firefighters Charity. Backstage, you can see him in our um, Santa's Grotto. The other celebrities are playing along on keypads just for fun right through the show, so we can check on how well they're doing or possibly how badly they're doing. Right, Jason and Amir are just 12 questions away from £1 million. Sounds very easy when you say it like that. They have the usual lifelines. They've got a 50-50. They've got a phone of friend, and of course they can ask this rather excitable Christmas audience. The first seven questions, up to £50,000, are played against the clock, and for the first two questions, as always now, they only will have 15 seconds. Guys, Amir, Jason, lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Christmas Millionaire? <laughs> right, you ready? Yeah, you are. Question number one for £500. Guys, I'll read out the question and then I start the clock. You'll only have 15 seconds. Here it comes. What sort of wine is traditionally served during the Christmas festive season? Right, 15 seconds from now. Reflected, mulled, contemplated, pondered. I'm happy with mulled. B. B. Final yeah. answer. You sure? Yep. It's the right answer. You've got £500. <laughs> Jason. How many glasses of pondered wine have you drunk over the no, Christmas period? No, you just period? don't know. It's tricks, questions. No, 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 no. There's no trick questions. OK. They do get a bit harder. You've got 500 quid. Uh, question number two would guarantee you £1,000. You have all three lifelines intact. Use them if you have to. I'm pretty sure you won't have to. Have a look. This is question number two. Here it comes. What term is much in the news lately in the context of the recession? Start the clock. Sherbet dip, skinny dip, cheese dip, double dip. Double dip. Double dip, yeah. D. D. Final answer. It's the right answer. You've got a thousand pounds. Okay. Woo! Right. Come on. We've done it. We've done it. No, that's good. <laughs> that's a guaranteed 500 quid for their two charities and at least 500 pounds in the viewer prize pot. And for the next five questions, they'll now have 30 seconds to answer. You've still got those three lifelines. Don't so worry, you two. It'll be fine. Question number three <laughs> is for 2,000 pounds. Here it comes. The England national football team reached a milestone in November. Their 2,000th what? 30 seconds from now. Goal. Sending off. 
Manager, new kit. <laughs> it's got the goal, goal. isn't it? A? Yeah, I think it's goal. Yeah. A, goal, final answer. Well, it's not going to be manager, is it? I don't expect so, no, but new kit. Two thousand. New kit. <laughs> Maybe it should have been. It's the right answer, you got two thousand pounds. It was actually that one that was scored by Gareth Barry, but it was deflected oh, by a right. Swedish defender, it, number yeah. 2,000. Right, after the break, we'll see how much more Christmas cash Jason and Amir can rack up. Now, if you'd like the chance to get your hands on half of all the money won tonight, plus a serious bumper gift package to be delivered in time for Christmas Day, and we promise it will get there, have a little look at all this. <laughs> To win an HD camcorder, a big floor piano keyboard, a home cinema system, a scale electric set, a 42-inch plasma 3D TV, plus a magic wand remote control, an iPad 2, an Xbox 360 and Kinect, and half of all the money won at tonight's show. Call 0904 1619 3. Calls cost no more than £1.54 pence from BT Landlines. Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more. Or enter at itv.com. You'll get a number to call the show for which charges will apply. Entrants must be 18 or over. Entries made after the lines close later in the show will not be counted but may still be charged. Good luck! <laughs> Welcome back to this very festive Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Christmas special. We're live tonight till 10, and as ever, you can join the Millionaire uh, conversation right now on Twitter at Millionaire UK, hashtag Millionaire, or at Facebook.com slash Millionaire, or go to the website, ITV.com slash Millionaire. Now, so far, Jason and Amir, who look terrified when they came on, they've done fine, <laughs> they've won £2,000. That's to be shared between their charities and one of you watching at home. But it has cost them no lifeline so far. Waiting nervously in the backstage grotto for their turn in the hot seat, we have Martin and Matt, we have Fatima and Russell, and Kate and Heston. And Fatima recently has been in far worse places than this. <laughs> Jason, Amir, how are you feeling? I feel good, you know. Yeah. I'm a little nervous at first, but I'm getting into it now. I'm yeah, yeah. glad we got to 2000. Yeah. I'm glad we got to that point. So that's, that'll do some, you know. Some good now, so we're sort of at that point, aren't we? Just so we're yeah. guaranteed a 1,000 now, we just want to <laughs> work our way it. up now. Yeah. What, um, what are you doing for Christmas, Chase? You got um, yeah, kids? Just the fact, yeah, I've got three kids, three L little girls. You've got girls, little girls? Yeah, Big girls, little girls? No, two and a half, the twins, and 11-month-old, so... Uh, well, they're still nice then. Yeah, so they're all... It's, <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Terrible yeah. twos and that, sort of like living with split personality. You know, yeah, so you uh, do the whole bit, you do turkey and... Yeah, we go for it, very traditional, go for a big Christmas walk and... Amir, is it one of the days you, I mean, do you just train as usual or not? No, I take Christmas off. I do mean, you? Yeah, Christmas and New Year I have off and I just chill out with my family. And do you uh, stuff yourself? A... Sorry? Do you really sort of stuff yourself? Uh, yeah, that? I do, yeah. I mean, I think <laughs> it's the only time I can eat as much as I want and yeah. I mean, I hardly put any weight on anyway, so it's a good thing. I know. It's, it's... I'm the same. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, serious business. You have £2,000, you have all three lifelines intact. Question number four is for £5,000. Take your time, have a look. You've now got 30 seconds on each answer. Here it comes. Which of these are available from the online service Spotify? 30 seconds, start clock. Books, music, cars, food. Music. I'm sure about that, yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty confident. I used it the other day. Uh, B, music, final answer. Why so sure? I literally used it Friday. I, I'd never heard of it. Someone mentioned it. <laughs> I know someone mentioned it Friday. And... I tell you, uh, Fatima Russell think it's B. Uh, Martin and Matt think it's B. And Kate and Heston think it's B. And the right answer is B. You got five thousand pounds. <laughs> And if we'd done this show live last Thursday, you wouldn't have had a clue. No, I'd have gone, I don't know. I don't know. That's okay. the audience. You got five grand, and you've still got three lifelines untouched. It's going rather well, isn't it? Cool. Question number five is for £10,000. Have a look, 30 seconds again. Here it comes. What line comes next in this year's X Factor charity single, I'm Wishing on a Star? 30 seconds, which of these? 
Driving in my car to follow where you are, to be with you so far for champagne and caviar. I've not a clue. I mean, I don't think it's driving in my car. I don't or think it's the first one or the second. Or do you think the second one? It could be B or C, couldn't it? To follow where you are, to be with you. So you got lifelines, guys. Going to do 50, 50. You've only got 10 Let's seconds. Let's do 50. 50, 50. 50. Okay, computer takeaway. Stop the clock. You have eight seconds left. That's all. Computer takeaway. Two random wrong answers. Leave Amir and Jason the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. To follow where you are, or champagne and caviar. Start the clock again. Yeah, go with B. We we'll go with B. Final answer. Not champagne and caviar. It better not be. <laughs> That's a, that'd be a terrible lyric. <laughs> it would actually. Uh, you got ten thousand pounds. <laughs> To follow where you are. Makes sense. Champagne no, and caviar. <laughs> <laughs> Driving in my car. <laughs> uh, Rose Royce from uh, 1978. Right, uh, I bet the choir knew that. You have £10,000. Question number six is for 20000 You hang in there, guys. You've still got a phone a friend and you can still ask this audience. Who are very, very intelligent. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a joke. Um, <laughs> question number six is for 20 grand. Here it comes. In which of these countries does Christmas Day arrive first? 30 seconds from now. India, Spain, New Zealand, Brazil. I don't Either. know. I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure. I, will, I don't think either of my phone are friends. Maybe C. Should we ask them? Should we Guys, ask the audience? audience? Yeah, we'll ask the audience. Yeah, we'll right, ask stop audience. the clock. Right, it's that very intelligent <laughs> audience. Come on, come on. We shall see. Right, audience, on your keypads. First time we've needed you tonight. In which of these countries does Christmas Day arrive first? Now, A, on your keypad is India. B is Spain. C is New Zealand. D is Brazil. In which of these countries does Christmas Day arrive first? A, India. B, Spain. C, New Zealand. D, Brazil. All vote now. People looking over each other's shoulder. Um, Three percent India, three percent Spain, six percent Brazil, eighty-eight percent New Zealand. Restart the clock. You've got ten seconds. We'll go with the audience, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Let's not. See final answer. Are you happy with your answer? I am now. I've seen that. <laughs> yeah, it was. It's the right answer. You got twenty thousand. Got it's the uh, it's like with New Year's Eve. It's the farthest east, so they have the first celebrations. They're 13 hours ahead of us. Right, you've got 20,000 pounds now. You've got to phone a friend. This is a great question. If you can get to number seven and give me a right answer, you do not have to play this. If you do, you will go away having won at least 50,000 pounds, and you would get another lifeline. But, and this has happened a lot on the celebrity shows, particularly. <laughs> Get to 20,000 and give me a wrong answer. You lose 19 grand. Can't OK? You can take the money. You can use phone a friend and still take the money. I would hate you to get this far and drop 19,000. <laughs> Question number seven, though, is for 50,000 pounds. Have a look. Tell me what you want to do. Last one against the clock. The clock will stop as well if you get through this question. Number seven, 50,000 pounds, is this. What colour is the number 10 on the door of 10 Downing Street? 30 seconds. Gold, white, green, black. White. I think it's white. I think it's white as well. Yeah, on a black door. Black door, it's yeah. white. It's white. Go for it. I'll let you. OK, we're going to go B, final answer. What is it called? White over black. Not think? black it's over white. No, the door's definitely black. black. Yeah, the door's black. Um, if you're wrong, so it just cost £19,000. Well, we'll take a break. Don't go away. Oh. <laughs> Who wants to be a millionaire Christmas special at this moment? Jason and Amir have had a very nerve-wracking few minutes. They're long, these breaks, aren't they? Wondering whether their instincts were right with their answer to this question. What colour is the number 10 on the door of 10 Downing Street? Gold, white, green or black? You know you've lost £19,000 if you're wrong. 
You said white. It's the white answer. You got 50,000 uh, pounds. Glad tidings for Jason and Amir. They were terrified as they've done so well. They've now reached that magical milestone of a guaranteed £50,000. That's guaranteed £25,000 for their two charities and £25,000 for one of you at home. It does mean already the prize fund tonight, and obviously we're going on right on until 10 o'clock, is now at at least £25,000. Right, the clock's gone. But the pressure is still on. We're live. All our other celebrities want to get out here and play. They've now earned that extra lifeline. You never thought you'd get here, did you, Jason? No, no <laughs> Switch. Way. That means you can get rid of a question you don't like the look of and switch it for a brand new one. Well done, you two. Um, Amir, can I talk a bit about... Because I think this is fantastic. You put a million quid of your own money into this um, Gloves Community Centre for kids. That's right, yeah. I wanted to give some back to the community because boxing totally changed my life and kept me off the streets and, and everything. So I went to an area where it was deprived. A um, little gym there, also a homework club for kids, so they'd come there, use the computers and everything. And... You know, their parents know they're going to be off the streets. I'm going to teach them discipline. And at the moment, you know, we're doing really well. We've, we've got a few national champions. We've got a boxing gym in there also where I train and also a few youngsters train there as well. But, you know, it's something I've always dreamt of, you know, and I wanted to give some back to the community, yeah. I think it's fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Bless you, mate. Thanks for what you do. <laughs> and it really is at this time of year a great gesture. Jason... And Amir are now just five questions away from a million pounds and they now have that extra lifeline. Mm. So, question number eight, you might as well play this, it's for £75,000. You've got to phone a friend as well. Have a look. There's no pressure, but I do want to get the other guys on before the end of the show. We've got a long, long night there, don't <laughs> worry. Have a look at question number eight. Here it comes. The invention of which of these everyday objects is attributed to Sir Isaac Newton? Have a look. Venetian blind. Calculator. Scissors. Cat flap. You were waiting for Apple, weren't you? <laughs> hmm. Do you know it? I never well, heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> just turned 25, so I don't know. <laughs> um, well, he's been gone a long time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I mean, it could be ob something obvious like the calculator. Um, Do you know it? I don't know it, though. Do you but, think you'd... But then it may, it may be like he had a day off from being dead clever and went, how can I get the cat in? <laughs> Sick of opening the door for a cat, you know what I mean? Yeah. And... Ding! Light bulb. Mm. Uh, you can switch it. Hey, uh, you can find a friend. I mean, we're on 50 already, I think. Use one of, yeah, use a lifeline. Use I mean, a lifeline? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Do you want to switch it for another question that we, that we definitely know? Um... I mean, I, I'm... I'm sure it must be. I don't know, actually. What is it? Jase, you're so indecisive. You've got two lifelines, so... <laughs> you're so indecisive. I know, I can't, I'm terrible, I'm terrible. Um... You're not normally. <laughs> oh. Amir, what do you want to do? Um, I think we should use a lifeline, to be honest with you. OK. We should so we bring somebody, or do you want to switch it for another question? Um... Yeah, I think we can switch it. Switch yeah, it. Let's switch let's it. Switch yeah, it. let's switch it. Get rid of it? Yeah, yeah. let's get... OK, out of interest, just what, I'll get rid of it. What would you have gone for? Um, probably not cat flap. <laughs> no, not cat flap, I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Probably calculator. If you'd have gone for yeah. calculator, you'd still be on £50,000. If you'd gone for cat flap, yeah. you'd now be on 75 grand. How what? weird is that? Oh, well, I would never have Right, ba 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 Switch it, get rid of it. And you have saved a phone a friend, don't forget. Right, have a look. Which of these famous diamonds is part of the crown jewels? That's your new question for 75000 You've still got a phone a friend. The Regent. The great star of Africa, the hope, the millennium star. <sighs> you probably bought your wife one of these for Christmas, Jason. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I don't recognise any of those. Fun friend? I think we're going to have to, aren't we? should we? do, yeah. Um, you might as well play this, no matter yeah, what. Fun no, friend, whatever, you might yeah, as well have a go. Yeah. I, think my, I think my dad might know it. You think your dad will know it? Possibly. All right, let's have a look. Who are your fun friends? Let's have a little look. <laughs> Sorry, no, they're fine. Um, <laughs> who, who are they? Uh, this is my friend Steve, Steve yeah. Edge, and uh, in the middle is my dad. Uh, oh, oh, Dad's Manny, yeah, yeah. Yeah, although and he does look like a, 
and that's on Coach Shai Azim. I mean, he looks a lot older there than, <laughs> than in real life. He's probably watching this and thinking, he probably will be. <laughs> he did. Uh, what do you think? Who are you going to phone? Who, who knows? Do you think um, your uncle will know? Or should I go for my dad? I think your dad probably know. Okay. I mean, yeah. Phone Manny? Yeah, let's ring Manny. Okay, let's phone him. Um, Jason, I assume you're going to talk to him because yep. you're his baby boy. Better have. OK, right, now, as the show is live tonight, all our phone and friends are locked away. We've isolated them from all internet and TV access, so they're totally unaware what's going on. They obviously don't know the Hello? question. They just know the guys are here. Oh. Manny? Yeah? Hiya, Chris Tarrant, good evening. Oh, good evening, Chris. How are you, matey? I'm fine, you and, and a happy Christmas, by the way. And to you. Now, I've got your lad here with Amir. They're doing all right, actually. In fact, they're doing very, very well, but they're stuck on one particular question. Uh, serious business, Manny, it's worth £75,000. Right. So no pressure. Right. <laughs> so the next voice will be your son. You probably recognise his voice. Uh, tell you the question. There are four possible answers. One of them is worth seventy grand, five grand. All right, Manny. Okay. All right, mate. Okay, Jason. Fingers crossed. Good luck. Okay, Dad. Yeah. Which of these famous diamonds is part of the crown jewels? Is it A. The Regent, B. The Great Star of Africa, C. The Hope, or D. The Millennium Star? Ah. Uh. It's not a good sound. No. Uh, We've got now to lose, so... If I was going for it, I'd go for the hope. You'd go for the hope, would you? Yeah. And is that... Why is that? I just have a feeling it's part of the crown jewel. Fair enough. See, see you then. Good old Dad. That's Let the longest it. conversation I've ever had with my dad on the phone. <laughs> Usually about yeah. 10 seconds in he goes, That's because we're, we're paying. <laughs> yeah. So, what you going to do? Going to go with Dad or what? Well, we may as well have a gamble, I mean, aren't we? Yeah, I, mean, I think it's a great star of Africa, but just because I, I don't know why. Just, I just, you I can overrule like, your dad if you want. Like I'm, I, whew, are you mad? <laughs> we an awkward Christmas. Um, we've got 50 grand, that's, that's pretty right, good. Yes, a lot. Um, do you want to have a guess? You, you want to give it a go? Well, he's going to guess the hope. He might not be right. Finance. What do you fancy? Should we just go with Dad? Yeah, we'll blame him. And we'll blame him. You can blame him. Go for final answer. C. We're going to go the hope. C. Final answer. He had fifty thousand pounds. Um. You still have fifty thousand no. pounds. The right answer was the great star of Africa. <laughs> Dad! 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 Martin and Matt knew it. Martin and Russ knew it. Kate and Ashton knew it. Dad didn't know it. I tell you what, though, guys, not bad. Jason and Amir have been splendid. Nice one. They have won fifty thousand pounds to share between the viewer prize pot and their two charities. Jason Manford, Amir Khan. <laughs> well done, guys. Great, really well done. Thank and a Merry Christmas. Thank you, Merry Christmas. Give a big hand, Merry Christmas. <laughs> right, let's meet our next very tuneful Christmas carolers, Martin Kemp and Matt Cardle. <laughs> Right. Ooh, what a start. Wow, Ooh, they, did, they well. did really well. Yeah, and I have to say, Amy is normally so calm. He was absolutely so nervous at the beginning. They did great. So, how are you? Well, very well. Nervous again, but, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Well, let's crack on for a bit, because there's loads to talk to you to about. Yeah. Martin and Matt are hoping to win, obviously, lots and lots of money for their favourite charities. Now, that's the Encephalitis Society, the Peace Hospice and Click Sergeant. Now, as always, they have their lifelines, and for the first two questions, they have 15 seconds. Guys, let's crack on a bit. Lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Christmas Millionaire? <laughs> Right, question number one, you know this stuff. Martin, you've been here before. Question number one is for £500, but it is now against the clock. You have 15 seconds. I'll start the clock as soon as I've read out the question. Here we go. What slang term can mean having too much to drink? 15 seconds. Tacked, pinned, stapled, hammered. D, hammered. Final it's answer. It's the right answer. You've got £500. <laughs> Yeah, we knew that one. <laughs> yeah, you could actually go, I wouldn't, but you could go. Somebody once went on 500 quid. Um, question number two, we're guaranteed <clears> £1,000. <throat> it is the last point at which you could go home with nothing. Uh, it won't happen. You have three lifelines. I'm sure you won't need them. You'll have 15 seconds, and then you have more time as well after that. Question number two for a grand is this one. Which of these is traditionally served with Christmas turkey? Start the clock. Pasta sauce, bread sauce, soy sauce, tomato sauce. Bread sauce, final answer. 
Don't sound so worried, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, I've got a thousand pounds. Yay! That's a guaranteed big sigh of relief. Guaranteed 500 quid for their charities and another 500 pounds now into that viewer prize pot, which now stands at 25,500 pounds. Don't forget somebody to be playing for that. And all those high tech toys sometime live on the end of the show. <coughs> You're having pasta for Christmas lunch, is that true? <coughs> yeah, well, I suggested. Don't you want turkey mine. and all the. Well, um, it's just me, mum, and dad for Christmas, and I wanted her to spend a bit of time with us in the lounge rather than run around the kitchen, you know? Pasta, pasta with bread sauce. Be yeah, really nice. nice. <laughs> <laughs> pasta and lambs. It's nice. I bet you're doing the whole lot. I bet you do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, my daughter's uh, been living out in LA. She's a photographer. Yeah, yeah. So she's just back for Christmas week. And uh, so we're doing the whole family Christmas. You've got a son as well, haven't you? Yeah, my boy's 18, my girl's 22. So we sit down together, the four of us. We have a quiet Christmas day, and then all the family and friends come over Boxing Day. And get hammered. Yep. <laughs> if okay. I'm watching you on TV. Yeah. Now, question number three is... For, that sounds awful. Question number three is for... Two, you can sleep through it. Question number three is for £2,000. The uh, time now goes up to 30 seconds. Have a look. This is for two grand. What type of devices are the Kobo, Kindle and Nook? 30 seconds from now. Smartphones, e-readers, games, consoles, 3D TVs. E-readers. Yeah, it's like the tablet. Yeah, thing, it's, it? it's B, e-readers. Final answer. It's the right answer, you've got £2,000. <laughs> Martin, as a, um, as a pop star of some uh, stature, can I ask you truthfully, do you like X Factor? I love it. Because he won it. And you most... have to say that. No, 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 because most, <laughs> most pop people don't, they're quite sniffy about it. Yeah, I think, you know, I am talking to Matt about it earlier, and I think uh, nowadays it doesn't matter how you get your break as long as you get it. It's a tough world out there, and whatever comes along, whatever window opens, you have to walk through it. Didn't do him any harm, did it? Absolutely, he did That's really well. Thanks, yeah. What's going to be Christmas number one? Um, I don't know, I think the, um, the army ladies are in with the oh, shouts. No, I really so. like that, actually. Yeah. But you never know, it could go anyway. Okay, we shall see. We shall see on Sunday. You have £2,000. Uh, question number four <coughs> is for five grand. You had three lifelines. Here we go. In which sports event do competing teams try to travel backwards and in opposite directions? 30 seconds. Wow. Swimming, luge, bobsledding, tug of war. It's tug of war, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. D, tug of war. Yeah. Final, Final answer. answer. Not bobsledding. <laughs> <laughs> Big chaos, wouldn't it? It's the right answer. You got five grand. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's clack on. Um, question number five. You could double your money here to ten thousand. You only guaranteed a thousand. You would drop four if you gave me a wrong answer. But you got all three lifelines untouched, and we've got a very intelligent audience on that side. Question number five <laughs> is for ten thousand pounds. Here it comes. What gas propels the cork out of a bottle of champagne? 30 seconds. Hydrogen, helium, carbon dioxide, neon. It's a, I was going to say it's either A or C. It's what? Either A or C. Wow. Guys, you've got your lifelines? I'm watching that clock. 50-50 here. Yeah? Yeah, 50-50. Martin? Yeah? Yeah, let's stop the clock. OK, right, they've got ten seconds left after this. Computer, take away two random wrong answers. Leave Matt and Martin the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Carbon dioxide neon. Ten seconds left. What are you going to do? It's got to be carbon dioxide. Jump on C. C, yeah. C, final answer. Why are you so sure? Because neon doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't even look right. <laughs> Neon's not right. You've got oh, 10,000 yeah. pounds. It makes them feel all that, all that fizzy. <laughs> hey, listen, this is good. We've already given away 50 grand tonight. You are two away from 50 grand. You've got to phone a friend and you can ask this very intelligent audience. Question number six for £20,000. Two more against the clock. Is this... What rank does Prince Harry currently hold in the British Army? 30 seconds. Captain, Lieutenant, Colonel, Major. I'm pretty sure he's a captain. Or is he a major? I mean, I'm, I'm not sure of any. Um, Should we go? Yeah, I mean, Captain's quite high, isn't it? Let's phone a friend. OK. Let's phone a friend. No, yeah. let's, let's go uh, uh, ask the audience. 
Yeah, yeah good call. Yeah. On to Oscar Nolan. OK. Uh, see Stop. Stop the clock. You'll only have eight seconds. Yeah. OK, we'll see how they go. Right, audience, on your keypads again, please. What rank does Prince Harry currently hold in the British Army is the question. Uh, a, Captain. B, Lieutenant. C, Colonel. D, Major. What rank does Prince Harry currently hold in the Army? Captain is A, Lieutenant is B, Colonel is C, Major is D. It's for £20,000. All vote now. Sixty-eight say captain. Twenty-eight percent say lieutenant. Two percent colonel. Two percent major. Captain, Restart the clock. Captain. Captain. Yeah. captain. Let's go. With captain. Final answer. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> it's the right answer. You got twenty-nine. Yeah. 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 Martin and Matt are flying. Join us after the break. And they'll be trying to win more cash for their charities and, of course, one of you at home. If you want to be in with a chance of winning half of the money won tonight, uh, tonight and that amazing bumper gift package, which will be delivered in time for Christmas Day, take a look at all of this. To win an HD camcorder, a big floor piano keyboard, a home cinema system, a scale electric set, a 42-inch plasma 3D TV, plus a magic wand remote control, an iPad 2, an Xbox 360 and Kinect, and half of all the money won on tonight's show. Call 0904 1619 3. Calls cost no more than £1.54 pence from BT Landlines. Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more. Or enter at itv.com. You'll get a number to call the show for which charges will apply. Entrance must be 18 or over. Entries made after the lines close later in the show will not be counted but may still be charged. Good luck! <laughs> It's about uh, 12 minutes past 9 o'clock to this live Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Christmas special. Don't forget, you can join the Millionaire Conversation on Twitter, Facebook, or go to the website, itv.com slash millionaire. Now, Martin and Matty are doing rather well. They're currently on £20,000. They still have their phone a friend to get them to that magical milestone of 50 grand. Cos it's Christmas, we thought we'd give the audience a treat. You've had a great year. You've had a great career. So we've got a picture first of Matt as a little boy, someone. Well, let's have a look. Now you'll love this. Ah! Oh, you've hardly changed at all. Angelic. And then we've got Martin in his heyday. Oh, I knew this was... Oh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Martin, whatever. We... <laughs> What? I think, you know, that's a boy having a good time. I don't know, it's, a, <laughs> it's a boy wearing a rook's nest, whatever, is it? <laughs> anyway, Merry Christmas. Now, you have £20,000. You have a phone of <laughs> pictures. <laughs> you have £20,000. You have a phone of friends. You're trying to put us off, Chris, isn't No, you? no, no. <laughs> question number seven is for fifty grand. OK, have a look. But please, please don't go and give me a wrong answer on this. You don't have to play it. You can, you can use your phone a friend and still take the money of 20 grand. It's a big old drop of 19 if you give me a wrong answer. Question number seven is for £50,000. Here it comes. Once sold for £45, now valued at £126 million, the Salvatore Mundi was recently named as an original by which painter? 30 seconds. Edouard yeah. Manet, Leonardo da Vinci, John Constable, James right. Whistler. Gonna go phone a friend, friend. Okay, right, stop the clock. You'll have 24 seconds when you come back. Now, let's have a look at your friends. Uh, David, Rob, and Will. Strange looking trio. Um, who are you gonna call? Who will know? Matt, you're looking course. confident. Who will know? Yes, yeah. that's his history. Thing. Yeah, I think. Okay, Matt, that's what my gut's saying. What are you saying? Right. You'll call them. No, no, no. Uh, Matt's thinking that Will might know it. <laughs> I've got a feeling Rob might know it as well, so it's a toss-up between the two of them. You choose. Why would, why would they know? Well, Rob said to me that he, he knows... He, he likes art, and he knows about that, but I reckon you jumped to you, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, that's just a, that's a gut feeling, but if Rob specifically said he knows about art, then, then go, go with that, cos Will's never mentioned art to me, but I know he's, that's the kind of thing that he, he just knows sometimes. OK. Yeah, who do you want? Come okay, well, on, I'll finish at 10. Who <laughs> should go with your I'll remind you again, our phone and friends are still totally unaware of what's going on as they're locked away somewhere, so they've got no access to a TV. They don't know the question. What are you going to do, guys? We're going to go with Will. Phone Will. OK, right. 
Right, we well, phone Will. Um, who's going to talk to him? No. Matt? Yeah, I'll right. You. Tell him the question, four possible answers, it's worth £50,000. All right, guys, fingers crossed. You'll have 24 seconds after that. You can still take the money, don't forget. Hello? Will? Hello. Hi, it's Chris Tarrant here, and happy Christmas. Uh, happy Christmas to you. Hi, mate, you're right. We're right in the middle of a very serious moment on a live millionaire. I've got Martin and Matt here. They're stuck on a particular question. Will, it's worth £50,000. Right, okay. All right, mate, so fingers crossed, it's serious business. Right, Matt, 30 seconds, your time starts now. Cool. Once sold for 45 quid, now valued at 126 million, the Salvatore Mundi was recently named as an original by which painter? The Salvatore Mundi. A, Edward Monet. B, Leonardo da Vinci. D, James Whistler. C, John Constable. Oh, I'm sorry, Matt, I've got absolutely no idea. Okay, mate, no worries. All right, sorry, buddy. Let's take the money. Yeah. 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 You up for it? Yeah, that's not a chance. Though. Oh, what yeah. a shame. What a shame, what a shame. Yeah. But, not a bad, I mean, not a bad result. Can you take the money, final answer yet? We can't risk that. Final, the final answer, we don't know the answer. I would have gone for A, but... Oh, I'll tell you what, if you'd said A, if you'd said man A... Oh, no, you just lost £19,000. The right yeah. answer was B, Leonardo Good. da Vinci. Give him a big hand. <laughs> £20,000. That will also be shared between their charities and tonight's viewers' prize pot. Let's have a look at the total. Where are we on the total? Now going up to £35,000. Well played, guys. I think you did the right thing. Yeah. Will you please thank Martin Kemp and Matt Hardy. And a happy Christmas. Thank you. Good night. Right. Let's get our next pairing on. Please welcome the Olympian and the voice, Fatima Whitbread and Russell Watson. <laughs> And happy Christmas. Hi, mate. Nice to see you. Right. Nice to see you. Fatima, <laughs> you brought something horrible. What have you? I did. Is that it? Well, he's my new best jungle friend. Is that the, co the cockroach? The cockroach. He's a nosy bee. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Why have you brought it home? Well, of course, I mean, everybody asks about him. Well, of course they do. And I felt quite. Um, withdrawal symptoms when I came away, so I had to bring him along with me, so, yeah, he's... Uh... How did you explain it to customs, Fatima? Well, because he's in saline water, it was OK. Is he? Yeah. He's a lot better there than up your nose, that's for sure. <laughs> well, 20 minutes is a long time to be feeling uncomfortable with it stuff. Cockroach stuff. It was extraordinary. Yes, Russell, could you do jungle? Um, <laughs> I probably wouldn't fancy that up my oh. nose, that's for sure. It was amazing. You, I have to say, Fatima, you were great on it. You were extraordinary. Well, I'm Last woman standing as well. What, you third, Queen of third? the jungle. Yeah, you, you look, look brilliant. Good. Absolutely brilliant. Right. <laughs> you can leave that there. I'm really pleased. <laughs> Fatima and Russell are hoping to win a sack full of cash. A lot of money being won already tonight to share between one of you at home and their chosen charities. Now, that's 21st Century, uh, 21st century Youth and the Prince's Trust. Uh, they have three lifelines to help them. And for the first two questions, they have just 15 seconds. Lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Christmas Millionaire? Come on, Russell. Come on. <laughs> These two are so competitive. Right, question number one is for £500. You have all your lifelines, obviously. You'll only have 15 seconds. Here we go. A combination of mistletoe and what provided Cliff Richard with a Christmas number one single in 1988. You'll know this. 15 seconds. Gin, beer, eggnog, wine. It's D, wine, final answer. Mistletoe and eggnog. It's the right answer, you've got five hundred <laughs> Question number two for £1,000. You have all three lifelines. Don't be embarrassed to use one early. You probably won't need it, but if you do, use it. Question number two, again, 15 seconds. Here it comes. Who resigned as manager of the England Rugby Union team last month? Russell's nodding wisely. 15 seconds. Martin Scorsese, Martin Johnson, Martin <laughs> Sheen, Martin Amis. It's B, Martin Johnson. It's the right answer. You've got a thousand pounds. Not bad, is it, Russell? I was just looking at this. Eight albums all went gold, platinum or double platinum. 
Yes. It's been all right, hasn't it? Yeah, I've, I've, I've had a, a blessed career. Over but you a, a didn't long start, which I didn't realise, you didn't start as a classical. It wasn't, you weren't classically trained, you were doing MC Hammer and Elvis. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, you were, though, weren't you? Around the clubs. Da 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 who do you do? Go on. I don't no, know. No, don't, please. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly <laughs> people I know. Well, they might not really happy them. if they, they saw me on live themselves. TV. <laughs> OK, £1,000 safely in the bank, £500 for their charities, £500 more in the viewer prize pot. Right, for the next five questions, Fatima and Russell will have 30 seconds. Question number three is for £2,000. Here it comes. What colour is the lid on a regular jar of British Marmite? Fatima, why are you whispering? 30 seconds from now. <laughs> Red, yellow, green, brown. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Go for it. Be yellow, final answer. Should we eat a lot of Marmite? <laughs> My mate Marmite. Well, you either love it or you hate it. So, right answer, you got £2,000. <laughs> Uh, question number four is for... It's not easy talking to someone with a cockroach in front of them. Question number four <laughs> is for £5,000. You've not yet touched 50-50, phone a friend or this very intelligent audience. Have a look. Here we go. Name the fourth C used to describe the characteristics of a diamond. Colour, cut, carrot and what? 30 seconds. Cost, carbon, clarity, class. Yeah, I think so. Um, are we going with that? Yes, C. I Clarity. Final answer. Final, Final answer. answer. Why are you saying it like that? Because I don't know anything about diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> They're a girl's best friend. Sure it's not cost. In my case, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Clarity's the right answer, you got five thousand pounds. <laughs> And over there in the green room, nodding happily, Kate knows it's C as well. Well, she would, wouldn't she? <laughs> <laughs> right, so you have £5,000. Question number five is for ten grand. You still have three lifelines. Have a look. Tell us uh, what you want to do. Which classic English novel is known in China as Foggy City Orphan? 30 seconds. Wuthering Heights, Gulliver's Travels, Oliver Twist, Pride and Prejudice. Sure, I, I'm not sure. I, I'd have, it looks like Oliver Twist, mm. but I can't be because sure. he was obviously an orphan. Should we call your friend? Let's let's um, let's phone a friend. Let's phone a friend. All right, stop the clock. Phone a friend. My instinct was Oliver Twist. You need a, you need a Chinese friend, really, <laughs> or a local restaurant. Yeah. Mm. Who are you gonna phone, Ross? I think. Fatima, what do you, who you think? think? I think that. Um, you choose. Who are these I people? Think, well. Susan's a family friend, and Russell is her brother, and Gary is... He's my assistant who knows everything. But what? maybe not this. Except Chinese questions. Well, yeah. Tell you again, phone a friend. I, I still don't totally know what's Susan going on. They're all locked away somewhere. Susan. Let's, Susan. Let's, let's, let's go, go with Susan. Susan. Who are you going to phone? Susan. We're going to go with Susan. Susan? Who is Susan? It's a family friend. I know she's a phone oh. friend, that's why we're doing it, but who is she? Oh, well, Susan is a part-time teacher. So oh, she's a family Susan friend. Okay. Family. All right, my darling. Okay, right. So, Fatima, are you going to talk to her yet? Yeah? yeah. All right, darling. So, uh, it's worth ten thousand pounds. First lifeline you've needed. You'll only have twelve seconds left. You can still use another one. Hello, or... Susan. Hello there. Hello there. It's Chris here. You didn't ask Hi. who I. You didn't ask who I was. Um, <laughs> happy Christmas, Susan. Now, uh, we're doing okay. I've got Fatima and Russell here at the moment on this Christmas millionaire. Uh, they're stuck on one particular question. Fatima thinks you'll know it. Um, I hope I do. Well, I hope you do. It's for £10,000. Next voice will be Fatima. She'll tell the question. No, no, no. All right, next voice will be Russell's. He'll tell the question. There are four possible answers. OK, so okay. which... 30 seconds. Which classic English novel is known in China as the Foggy City Orphan? Is it A, Wuthering Heights, B, Gulliver's Travels, C, Oliver sorry, Twist... I didn't get B. B, Gulliver's Travels, C, Oliver Twist, or D, Pride and Prejudice? <sighs> Foggy City Orphan. I would think uh, Oliver Twist. Yeah. Yeah. Thank I you. think, Thank but I don't know. Yeah, I think we think the same, Susan. Thank you. OK, thank you. Thank you. Good luck. All right, thanks. Restart the clock. We've got 12 seconds left. What do you want to do? 
C. Oliver Twist, final answer. Please. Please. I've never seen a Man United fan look so worried. It's <laughs> only important, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's the right answer. Yeah! Yeah! To get Daly for your chance to be a winner later on tonight, live on the lines. The phone lines will close after the commercial break. Here, one more time, are the details. <laughs> to win an HD camcorder, a big floor piano keyboard, a home cinema system, a scale electric set, a 42 inch plasma 3D TV, plus a magic wand remote control, an iPad 2, an Xbox 360 and Connect, and. Half of all the money won on tonight's show. Call 0904 1619 3. Calls cost no more than £1.54 pence from BT Landlines. Other networks may be higher and mobiles considerably more. Or enter at itv.com. You'll get a number to call the show for which charges will apply. Entrance must be 18 or over. Entries made after the lines close later in the show will not be counted but may still be charged. Good luck. Very strange. During the break, Fatima was talking to her cockroach. Welcome back, I don't know, to this Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Christmas special. The phone lines are now closed. Please do not call from now on, as your entry will not count, but you might still be charged. Right, Fatima Russell are on £10,000. The good news is they still have two lifelines remaining. Russell, are you feeling all right? You were saying earlier you're apprehensive. You've done well. Yeah, I'd like to get to that 50k mark. It, it makes a big difference for the charities that we're involved with. Mm. Done OK, though. Fatima, is this more fun than Jungle? I should think oh, anything's more fun than Jungle. I should say so. It's actually quite nice sitting across the room to you, but I think I would prefer Peter Andre. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, done OK. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, yeah, Chris. well, the next question is going to be about the formula for splitting the atom, so good luck. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you have £10,000. Question number six is for £20,000. Peter, Andre. 50-50, and ask the audience to remain. Here it comes. Which bone in the human body weighs only two ounces but supports the entire head, which can weigh up to 17 pounds? 30 seconds, start the clock. Atlas, clavicle, metatarsal, femur. It's not the femur, it's not the clavicle, not the metatarsal, yeah. it's the atlas, I think. OK, we'll go with so. that. Yeah. I've got to get you to speak up, guys. Clavicle, femur, metatarsal, yeah, it's, atlas. Yeah, it's definitely not the metatarsal. No. OK, um, eight. We're going to go with a atlas. Final, Final answer. answer. Kate thinks it's clavicle. And uh, Heston uh, thinks it's clavicle. clavicle. That's the clavicle. Yeah, but if you ever meet Heston, he is very strangely assembled. You've just won £20,000. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, my God, well good. He cares. Ooh! Clavicle. the thigh bone, metatarsal is in the feet, and clavicle's up here, quite right. Uh, Crikey! 50-50 remain. <laughs> Ask the very intelligent audience remain. You've got 20 grand at this moment. Please don't lose this, guys. You would plunge 19,000 if you gave me a wrong answer. You can take the money. Have a look at question number seven. This is for £50,000. Here it comes. Last question against the clock for you two. Here it is. Earlier this year, which food was granted protected status by the EU? 30 seconds from now. Eccles cake, Cornish pasty, Lincolnshire sausage, Red Leicester. Yeah, I think we're going to use one of our lifelines. Okay. Hands. Be quick. What do you want to do? Ask, ask, the, ask the audience. Right, stop yeah. the clock. You've got 16 seconds left. Audience. Audience looking night. absolutely horrified. Yeah, which is never a great sign. Okay, right, here's the question. Earlier this year, which food was granted protected status by the EU? A is Eccles cake, B, Cornish pasty, C, Lincolnshire sausage, D, Red Leicester. Protected status by the EU. Eccles cake, Cornish pasty, B. Uh, Lincolnshire Sausage C, Red Leicester D, A, B, C or D, all vote now, it's for £50,000. Come on, girls, come on, girls, come on, guys. Come on, girls, come on, guys. <laughs> C, 
66%, say pasty, 9, say Eccles cake, 16, sausage, 9, red, Leicester. 16 seconds to restart right, the clock, what do you want to do? 66 is pretty high. high. Um, Let's go with it. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Russell, you got 9 okay, seconds. Cornish pasty. Cornish, Cornish pasty. pasty. Final answer. Final answer. Please. Please, please. But you hadn't a clue you didn't think it was pasty at all. Fatima, you didn't think it was pasty at all. It is pasty. Yeah. You just... Yeah. Yeah. Fifty thousand is now the minimum amount. That Fatima, what a great night! Fatima and Russell have won the share between their oh, charities please. and one lucky viewer. Quick look at the prize fund now: sixty-six, sixty thousand. Sorry, sixty thousand pounds. They've also now earned the extra lifeline switch, where they replace a question they don't look like uh, getting right with a completely different one. We also get rid of the clock. Fatima and Russell are just five questions away from one million pounds. And Russell said, if I get to a million pounds, I'm going to sing the answer as a tenor. We should look forward to that. <laughs> right, you've got a 50-50. You've got to switch. I would love to get as much money from you guys, obviously, but I have still got Kate and uh, Heston waiting outside. So let's see what happens. Question number eight is for 75,000 pounds. You should play this one because you can't lose on it. Here it comes. What is the dot over the lowercase i or j called? No clock. Uh, titlo. Tittle. Trema. Tilda. Um, the dot over a lowercase i or j. It's one of those for 75 grand. You can get rid of two. If you really don't like this, you can switch it. Titlo, tittle, trema, tilda. What did your first thing? What are you thinking? I, I actually don't know, so I might be tempted to switch, switch. this. Yeah. Do that. Yeah? Yeah. Not a clue? I haven't either. Not a clue. Trema. Trema. Was the one that instantaneously jumped out at me, but I'm just not certain. <laughs> yeah. Instantaneously is a good yeah. word on live TV. <laughs> Trema. Wanna get rid of it? Wanna get rid of it? I think we ought to. Yeah, I it? think we'll change, yeah. 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 Okay, I will tell you the right answer was Tittle. So it's a good thing Trema did... Oh. Well, it may have jumped out of you, but it would have been wrong. However, <coughs> we got rid of that, which is good. You've still got a 50-50. Right, this is the question. Now, after J.K. Rowling, which children's author sold the most books in the UK in the last decade? These are your options. Roger Hargreaves, Dr. Zeus, Jacqueline Wilson, Roald Dahl. Mm. Fatima, what are you thinking? Thinking Roald Dahl. I was thinking Roger Hargreaves as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got a 50 50. You could get rid of two. Yeah, let's go still leave Hargreaves and Dahl, I reckon. I think it'll leave Hargreaves and Dahl. Yeah. Um, what do you want to do, Ross? Uh, well, do, do you want to have a plug at it and save the 50 50 or? Yeah, save the 50 50. I would go Hargreaves. Roll Dahl or Hargreaves? Hargreaves. If... Hargreaves. Should we just use the 50-50 and 75,000? Should we go the 50-50? Go the 50-50 then. We're going to use the 50-50. OK, can we take easy. away two random yeah. wrong answers? Leave Russell and Fatima the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. I knew that would happen. Roger Hargreaves or Roald Dahl? One of those two is worth 75,000. You've been listening to us, you see. They, they no, deliberately did that. It is actually... I know people don't believe this. It is actually totally random. <laughs> OK. Go Hargreaves. Hargreaves. You might as well play this. Yeah. Because you, you can't lose on it. Hargreaves. Hargreaves. All right, then. A. Roger Hargreaves. Are you sure? It's a, it's a gamble. You said Dahl. I know, and you said Hargreaves, and I think... Final answer? A. Roger Hargreaves. Final, Final answer. answer. Why are you praying? Because I want £75,000 pounds. for charity. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You had fifty thousand pounds. Find out if you still got fifty thousand oh, pounds. No. <laughs> In just a couple of minutes, don't go away. No.
Welcome back to the final part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Christmas special. It's been another very long commercial break for Fatima and Russell, who are desperate to know whether they've just won £75,000 or not. Do you think you got it right, Fatima? Why are you hiding? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, to be honest, but we think we may just... The question was, which children's author sold the most books in the UK in the last decade? And you originally said Roald Dahl, yeah, and you were overruled by him. And I'm happy to be overruled by and him. And it's a good thing you were, because it's the right answer. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> That's all we need, isn't it? Tell you what's amazing. <laughs> He died in 1988, and one Mr. Man book, Mr. Men book, sells every 27 seconds. It's amazing. It's fantastic. Right. So, you have £75,000. It's fantastic. You have no lifelines left, but question number nine, you could double your money here, you lose 25, you give me a wrong answer, you're guaranteed 50, you could double your money to 150. Have a look at it. Question number nine, I'm running out of time, it's quarter to ten, so I must get cracking, and I really want to try and get Kate and Heston on as well. Have a look. Question number nine is for £150,000. Here it comes. What's the name of the Queen's first great-grandchild? Savannah, Amber, Ruby, Abby. Don't know. What are you thinking? I haven't got a clue. I thought, you, I thought you moved in these circles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you seemed, you know, you seemed the queen. <laughs> Fatima, what are you I was, thinking? I was thinking Amber. Don't Wanna know play? why. Are you sure? No. You lose no. 25,000 if you're wrong. We won't risk losing that kind of money uh, either. I think 75k is a brilliant good, yeah. job. Yeah. I think we've got to be grateful for that. I think so. I think take the money. We're going to take, take the money. money yeah. I mean, he's never seen anybody so fed up at 75 grand in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll take the 75 grand. I will tell you, the right answer was Savannah. Yeah, that was just as well. So lucky you didn't say Amber, Amber. out loud, final answer. I tell you what, they've been splendid. Fatima and Russell have won 75,000. <laughs> Tonight's viewer by pop. Let's have a look at the pop, please, guys. Where are we? £72,500. Somebody will be playing for that live on air in about the next ten minutes. Please thank Fanny Whitbread, Russell Watson. Bless you, guys. Take the cup, we're extending it behind. Bless you, Danny. And a Merry Christmas. Thank you. I'm so sorry I wasn't Peter Andre. Oh, Go that way. Goodbye. <laughs> Still more money to be won, so let's bring out our next pair of Santa's little helpers. Kate Galloway, Heston Blumenthal. Hello, you. Oh, oh, you look glad. Oh, oh, you look glad. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Coo. No pressure, but there's been a huge amount of money. I know they've done really wanted. well. We've worked ourselves in for frenzy. Okay, That's don't worry. Right. Don't worry. I've got about okay, ten minutes. Come on then. Kate and Heston are hoping to win a load more cash to share between one of you at home and their chosen charities, Lend With Care <laughs> and the Nichols Spinal Injury Foundation. They've got three lifelines to help them for the first two questions. They'll have 15 seconds. Because we're live, this klaxon could sound to stop the show, and that would stop Kate and Heston's game. I'm afraid if that happens, any question in play is null and void. So let's get cracking. Lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Christmas Millionaire? <laughs> You're looking sick. Oh. Question number one is for £500. Here we go. Which of these would you expect to hear in a pantomime? 15 seconds. He's behind you, he's before you, he's beside you, he's beneath you. A. That's our final, final answer. answer. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. It's the right answer. You got £500. Good. It's a start. It's a start. <laughs> Question number two is for £1,000. You have all three lifelines. Please don't go home with nothing Home with nothing at this stage. I'm sure you won't. Here it comes. What term has come to mean an attractive, grey-haired, older man? Start the clock. Silver badger, silver squirrel, silver Jeez, stoke, silver, silver fox. D, silver fox. Final answer, we think. You're looking very confident. Kate, it's the right answer. <laughs> Come on. Right. Come on. Come on. 
Let's go. Uh, that's a £1,000 safely in the bank, £500 obviously for their charities, £500 more in that viewer prize pot. Those lines have closed, but we will take a caller just before 10 o'clock. For the next five questions, Kate and Heston will have 30 seconds. Question number three for £2,000. On this day in 1984, what did Britain agree to give back to China? Heston thinks he knows it. Start the clock. Ping pong, giant panda, Ming vase, yeah. Hong Kong. OK, D, that's a final answer, Hong it's Kong. It's the right answer, you got £2,000. <laughs> on the 19th of December in 84. Right, let's keep going, I'm dreading that klaxon. Question number four is for £5,000. You still have those lifelines, here it comes. The expression, throw in the towel, is derived from which sport? 30 seconds. Boxing, oh, swimming, box. judo, tennis. A boxing final answer. Why are you screwing your face up like that? I don't know, because I'm scared. You shouldn't be. It's the right answer. It's okay. 5,000 pounds. <laughs> Final second. Close the towel in the ring. The admitted man has lost. Mm. Right, keep going. Question number five is for 10,000 pounds. He had three lifelines, 30 seconds. Here we go. Who has pianos named Nina, Winfred and Rita? 30 seconds. Jamie Cullum, Mick Jagger, Elton John, Ozzy Osbourne. I don't know this. We're going to have to do something, I think. Yeah, let's do something. OK, what should we do? Phone a friend? Uh, yeah, he's not, he's audience. 50, 50. Make your mind up, guys. Quickly, 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 quickly. Audience. Right, stop the clock. OK. Right. Audience, on your keypads, please. Who has piano's name? Nina, Winifred and Arita. Uh, a, on your keypad is Jamie Cullen. B is Mick Jagger. C is Elton John. D is Ozzy Osbourne. A, Jamie. B, Mick. C, Elton, D, Ozzy. A, B, C or D. All vote now. I want to try and get to the end of this question. Come on. <laughs> Eighty percent say Elton John. John. Yeah, let's go for it, Elton John. Well, of course it is. Fifteen seconds from uh, the clock winding down is the right answer. For ten thousand pounds, you still have a fifty-fifty. You still can phone a friend. Question number seven. Oh. It was like Jeff on a Saturday afternoon. It was like ten thousand pounds. I tell you what, give him a big hand. Not bad. <laughs> that was pretty quick, you guys. <laughs> now we are out of time, but. Kate and Heston, quite brilliant, have won £10,000 to share between the viewer prize pot and their charities. That means the viewer total tonight, since we came on air at half past eight, stands at this amount of money, £77,500, which, plus all those goodies, is a serious Christmas prize for somebody in the next few minutes. And you'd be excited. Right, from all the people who have entered, we've randomly selected tonight's caller. Let's find out who's on the line. They've got a chance to win £77,500 plus all that high-tech gear. I can tell you it's... It's Dot from Kent, from Tunbridge Wells. Hi, Dot. Hi, Chris. How are you? You sound very excited. Oh, yeah, my, uh, my, um... £77,500, Stanley, plus all those Christmas goodies. Right, all you have to do, please get this right, is answer one question correctly. You'll have four options to choose from and 30 seconds to answer once I've read the question. You must scream out final answer. All right, my darling? Yes. Yeah. Right, Dot, lots of luck. Here we go. Here's the question. According to the biblical story, which of these was not... A gift brought by the three wise men. 30 seconds. Doc, good luck. Gold, bronze, frankincense, myrrh. Hello. Hello. My answer is B, bronze. Final answer. Yes, final answer. Dot. Yeah. Dot. Yeah. You've just won £77,500. I can't hear you with all this stuff. Happy, happy Christmas! She may have passed out. That's all we've got time for. Guys, come on. Come and join me, everybody, on the set. Huge thank you to all our celebrities. What an amazing hour and a half that turned out to be. To Jason and Amir, to Martin and Matt, to Fatima and Russell, and Kate and Heston, who were brilliant right at the end. Can we also say thank you to the CK Gospel Choir?
Yeah. Their new album is out now. They've been great tonight. Let's go. We'll see you again on the 3rd of January for, oh, look, it's snowy, for our New Year special. Until then, from all of us on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, have a wonderful Christmas. Dot certainly will. Good night.